Hey, now I don't know about you, but sometimes I struggle to remember things, so I leave myself a note on the fridge, a note at home. I've even texted myself, I've even sent myself a WhatsApp, so I get home from work, open WhatsApp, find myself, I've messaged me, how exciting, to remind me of something I need to do. Uh, now in the book of Mark, there's this wonderful miracle we're all really familiar with of Jesus feeding the 5,000. Yet shortly after that, Jesus then goes on to feed the 4,000 and something quite bizarre happens. The disciples turn around and say to Jesus, hey Jesus, how are you going to feed 4,000? Yet he'd just fed 5,000. It's a serious case of spiritual amnesia. It's like Jesus can do it before, so he can do it again. And I'm here to remind you today of God's promises to you, a yes and amen. Now, just after feeding the 4,000, there's this other story. It's called the yeast of the Pharisees and the disciples are discussing bread. And Jesus turns around and says, why are you still discussing bread? It's like Jesus wasn't so interested in what was for lunch, but he was interested the disciples were forgetting the faithfulness of him. And I've come to just remind you today that we are etched on Jesus' heart. He doesn't wake up wondering who we are. We don't slip from his memory. And now there's another great example at the end of the Gospels where, of course, the thief on the cross turns around to Jesus and says, Jesus, are you going to remember me? And Jesus says, of course I remember you. You will be with me in paradise. So God's promises to us are yes and amen. We never slip his mind. I'm so blessed that Jesus didn't come to remind us of an unforgettable past, but he came to us to deliver us a glorious future. Be blessed.